man, this happens to me every single year. Hey, my friend, it's George Carroll, and I wanted to give you five good reasons. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Five good reasons to come play with us January 15th through the 17th at my three-day event called The Greatest Year of Your Life. Think about it this way. So much of our power to create what we desire lives in our ability and our willingness to be present with our desires. The more present you are with your desires, the more you begin to emanate, the more you begin to vibrate and project that energy out into the universe and the universe then brings back to you through the mighty law of attraction or whatever you want to call it that brings those things to us. And so when you give yourself a specific amount of time to focus on the things that you desire, to be present with the things that you desire, you start to immediately create a momentum on having those things, on those things coming into your life. You start to summon those things into your life. One of the biggest challenges we have in our culture today is we have an influx of information. You know, it's the information age. We got information coming from every single which direction. And it's so easy to get sidetracked and distracted by all the information coming our way when you gift yourself this time, when you say, okay, I'm going to dedicate three days of, the, of my life of 2015 to create what I desire. Because the reason why most people's lives don't change is because they're constantly focused on what already is. And when you focus on what is, you perpetuate that back into your life again and again and again and again. But in order for us to create something greater, we've got to be willing to imagine, envision something greater, something beyond what is. And that's the power of creating a vision board. So you're literally going to spend three and a half hours creating your vision board, focusing on the things that you desire, focusing on the experiences that you want to have. So what is it that you want to create more of in 2015? Is it you know, more income? Is it greater relationships? Is it true love? Is it more adventure? Is it more travel? Is it you know, a building a business that you love that impacts and changes people's lives? You know, what is it that you would like to create more of in 2015? Really start to get clear on those things. Write those things down because when you focus on them and give them your energy consistently and you're able to be present with them consistently, you begin to emanate the energy. You begin to vibrate the energy so that those things start to come into your life. So here's a great example. About three or four months ago, I started to get this sort of energetic hit from Northern California. So I opened up a Google map and I started looking at Northern California. I said, okay, what's in Northern California? And so as I scrolled the map up a little bit, I saw Portland and Portland, Oregon just kind of blinged at me. And I was like, huh, what's in Portland? So I started researching a little bit of Portland and started looking into the city and started realizing some cool things like, you know, they ban GMOs, they don't fluoridate their waters, they don't have any sales tax. And I started to get excited about the possibility of maybe moving to Portland. The very next day, literally the very next day, I was booked for a speaking engagement, uh, five of them in the Northwest, and it ended on a Friday in Portland. And so I decided to make a long weekend out of it. I came to Portland. I felt the city. I traveled around. I visited some cool monuments. You know, I went and visited a bunch of apartment complexes, and I just made the decision. I made the choice. I'm moving here. And literally, within three weeks, I had signed a lease, um, and now this is where I live. I live in the sweetest part of the Northwest, or maybe even the country, according to me, um, which is Portland, Oregon. And I'm so happy I've moved here in the last three weeks. I've met so many amazing people. I'm just exploring the city like it's nobody's business. And that's how fast that we can create but I was willing to focus on Portland. I was willing to study it. I was willing to step into it and be in the energy of it. And then quickly, I was able to manifest it or create it. And that's how fast you can create too. And that's reason number one of why you need to come to this event is because the energy is moving fast. And when you give your desires your attention, when you give your desires your presence, when you give your desires your focus, you will create a faster momentum than ever before. And have you noticed that the energy is moving really fast right now? Now, if we focus on crap, we're going to create crap. But if we focus on magic, we're going to create magic. And you probably already have been experiencing that over the last few months and maybe even longer. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is you're going to get your values fully aligned with your vision. One of the most powerful things that we can do is become aware and become conscious of the values that we've taken on in our lives and become aware of the value conflicts that we have. So if you have a value of adventure and growth and expansion, 
but you also have this underlying unconscious value of comfort and security, you're going to have what's called a value conflict. So reason number two is you're going to become fully aware of the values that are currently operating in your life and more importantly, the values you need to embody on a daily basis in order to continue moving toward those visions and those targets that you have in place. So here's a fun question that I ask my audiences is, if I said, hey, meet me somewhere, we're going to go skydiving, would you say yes or would you say no? Well, if you said yes, let's break down the decision-making process, shall we? Here's how we make decisions on an unconscious level. So if I, when I say let's go skydiving, you immediately have to get an image of what it looks like to go skydiving. And it, if it looks like exhilaration and excitement and you flying and going, woo then there's a really good chance that you're going to say yes and you're going to come skydiving with me because that image created a pleasurable feeling. And that pleasurable feeling underneath that is a value. That value is probably adventure, excitement, or exhilaration, or something of that degree. Now let's look at the other side of the coin. If you said no, what happens is, and again, you had to get an image in your mind of what skydiving looked like for you. Maybe it was your parachute not opening and you flop it on the ground. You know, maybe it was you being scared, you know, shitless in the air as you come down. Maybe it was you tumbling and spinning and not having a good experience, which produced a feeling in your body. And that feeling underneath it was a value. And that value probably violated, was violated, a value of comfort or security or of um, familiarity. It's usually one of those three. And so what happens is we can use our values to aim them in the direction of our visions, of our goals. So for example, what's something really big that you'd like to create in 2015? And what's a value that if you chose to consciously embody, if you chose to consciously embody, would get you moving in the direction of that target? Is it boldness? Is it, is it faith? Is it trusting yourself? You know, is it believing in yourself? Is it knowing that it's possible? Is it, is it courage? You know, is it determination? What, you, so when you leave on day one, just on day one alone, you're going to be fully aligned. Your visions and your targets are going to be set in place. And then we're going to spend a quarter of the day aligning those specific values. I'm going to show you my examples. I have 16 values this year that are aimed toward my targets and visions. And I do this process every year. And every year my life continues to expand and grow. Last year I had two really big targets, get on TV and write a book. And I hit those two targets, but I had to take on a lot of other values in order to get there, like courage and determination and persistence. And so this year, I'm going even bigger. I've got some bigger targets that I'm going to share with you at the event. And by the end of day one, you're going to leave with your values fully aligned with your vision. And we're going to start to resolve those conflicts that you might have. On day number two, and here's reason number three why you want to come, is because anytime that we choose to go bigger in our lives, and man... This happens to me every single year, and this has probably happened to you too. Anytime that we go bigger in our lives, man, those limitations, they come sneaking in, don't they? And have you ever recognized that? You choose something greater, something bigger, a bigger dream, and all of a sudden, everywhere where you're limiting yourself from having that thing starts to show up in conversations with people, in resistance, in fears. And already over the first five days, and I'll be sharing more about this at the event over the first five days, I've had to look at face first, face first like this. I've had to like this right here. I see you. I see you. I've had to look face first at these patterns that have shown up that have been kind of hiding underneath the surface that have come flat out in my face and in order for me to go beyond this, to go to my visions, I have to move through this. And so I've been doing a lot of processing work and a lot of transformational work over the last few days because I decided in 2015 it's going to be the greatest year of my life. And any limitation or any fear or anything that's unresolved that's in the way of you having that will show up. And that's why day two is all about transformation. So in the first session, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on transforming your relationship with money. Now, if we want a greater life, if we want to generate more income, we've got to develop a great relationship with money. We've got to develop a relationship with money that allows it to want to come play with us. Truth is, is that love isn't the root of all, love of money isn't the root of all evil. This is the need or the necessity of money or the addiction to money that's the root of evil. But what if money wants to be loved? You know, what if money wants to be nurtured and cherished and be to be appreciated? So we're going to literally transform your relationship with money going through some tools and processes that I'm going to teach you and through a specific written exercise that's going to shift everything for you in the realm of money.
And then we're going to go through a process I call timeline transformation. Timeline transformation is one of the most powerful processes that I take my clients through and I take myself through anytime there's a limiting feeling or a part of me that's stopping me. It's a really powerful process. I'm going to do an exercise on stage with somebody and then you're actually going to be practicing it with uh, a partner in the event. So the next reason why you want to come, reason number four, is Daniel Techno Shaman Donovan and Melanie MFN Lighthouser. So they're going to be bringing their transformational breath work, and if you've ever experienced them, their work is really powerful. It's, uh, it's a breath work transformation where they walk you through some breathing exercises that allows you to drop into your unconscious. And you start to look at what are the, the limitations and the fears that need to be resolved. And through their facilitation, you come out literally almost rebirthed, feeling totally different. Because when we go big, we got to break free from those limiting fears, those limiting patterns. And if we don't, then there's a good chance they're going to stop us. All right. So that's reason number four. And then at the end of the day, this is reason number five. And I've got a couple of bonus reasons for you. I should have uh, grew more fingers on this hand. Um, but reason number five is you're going to be breaking boards. So on the front side of the board, you're going to be writing down all the fears, all the limitations, all the patterns that stop you, and all the things that though holding on to those fears and limitations are costing you. You know, are they costing you greater relationships? Are they costing you a greater business? Are they costing you uh, more income? Are they costing you, you know, noises that come from your computer? What are they costing you in your life? And on the other side, you're going to write down and. Uh, fully associate to them. Not just write them down, but fully emotionally and energetically associate to them. And you're going to write down all the things that breaking through those patterns are going to give you. All the things that when you step through and break free from those patterns of fear and limitation that you're going to be able to embody. And you're going to go through a board breaking exercise and it's a visceral experience. And when you do it, your life will change. I see it all the time. Every single year that I've done this board breaking exercise, somebody's life, everyone who does it, their life shifts very powerfully. Bonus reasons are day number three, you're going to go through my productivity and performance model called Optimum Performance and Productivity. I'm going to show you exactly how I spend my days, how I have to manage four parts of my business, how I do it all, how I have a part-time assistant that I use, and I have you know part-time virtual assistants that I use, but mostly I do it myself because I know exactly where to spend my time. Each and every single day, I know what my top priorities are, I know what my distractions are, and I know exactly how to use my time in my day and what activities to focus on that allows me to continue to up-level my life. And so I'm going to teach you my uh, optimum performance and productivity model so when you leave there, you know exactly where to spend your time, you know exactly um, how to manage your day and your weeks, and also how to be open to the magic of being flexible. So you're going to learn not only this like structured model, but also as a way to invite magic into your life as you manage your day. And then the second bonus is mastering your purpose story. So this is a training that I do for corporations, and it's an amazing process. It's a five-step process I'm going to teach you, and it's called mastering your purpose story, where you're going to get on stage, you're going to get on camera, and you're going to share why you do what you do. And you'll be able to use the film and the footage for marketing purposes if you own a business. You'll be able to watch yourself on camera. But not only that, you're going to be on stage and you're going to be on camera. Two of the people's greatest fears is being on camera and being on stage. By the end of these three days, you won't be the same person. The limitations and fears that you're carrying right now, they won't be there after day three. They're going to be gone. And so I specifically designed this three-day event to be very intimate. No more than 36 people will be participating in it. So by the end of day three, you're gonna have way more of you, you're gonna have way more inspiration, more passion, more joy, more focus, more clarity on where you're going. You're gonna know exactly where to spend your time, what activities to spend your time on, and you're gonna be unstoppable in a way that maybe you never had before. So that's my invitation. Um, we've got just a few days left. We start January 15th, and the price point is super sweet. It's $4.95. Or if you want to share it with your friends on Facebook, it's only 97 bucks for all three days. You'll leave with a completed vision board. You'll have your board that you broke through as a symbol. And you'll also have you, a greater version of you as you step into 2015. So my invitation to you is come play. I'll see you there.